Eish. You notice these gentlemen are very professional, observing all the safety using hand signals. Working together as a team. Today, keeping an eye on everything. Range safety in a live fire situation is one of the most important things, the very most important things. We all want to go home to our families. We all want you to go home to your family. On the far left there in the back, that's Colonel Smith, Colonel David Smith. He's one hell of a guy. We all got one heck of a group here. There in the middle, on the left. Private Logan, he's going to be uh, promoted here in a few minutes. He doesn't know that, but uh, he's brand new, fresh to this. We have several veterans here. I know the two of us are Marines. There's four or five of us that are ex-Army, and we have several gentlemen here that were nothing more than civilians. But uh, they're very highly trained in weapons usage and weapons safety. There again, safety is number one. We all want to go home to our family. We all want you to go home to your family. This is 1st Lieutenant Dorsey, 4th Battalion, MDF, Northern Missouri. Sweepy, sweepy. No more. So here, I know you're still lodging on this. 
for, for everybody. All barricades, rock, steel. Don't just keep it in your shoulder like you're shooting and you're going off whenever you're trying to break and run or something. Here. And it's a piece of cake to get it back yeah. up. Remember your speed deal? Put it on the bank. Shift. Here. And they're done. If you're going to run and you're here and you don't want to have it you know, pointed down at the ready, you're going to really run run. That's how easy that is to get away from a barricade safely without flashing. I might add, some of the gentlemen here came four hours to come and help us today and train with us and train us. They spend a lot of their spare time working on this because they feel that it's a very serious thing. One motion. The gun needs to come on onto fire onto target. Off of fire, off of target. At the same moment every time. No matter what's happening. But all in all, this gentleman, that crowd was awesome. <laughs> Super Good. proud of you guys. Good. No, literally, that was the only nitpick. Oh, uh, was that. This and that's something for everybody. I've seen it throughout the, the day. Just wanted to, you know, make a note of that for everybody just to try to remember. When we start our two trainings a month. This is going to be what we're working on on our first, next training today. Awesome. Love to, see, love to hear that. Uh, remember, start out slow. Yeah, um, some of our guys got some. And <laughs> the other thing also, there's a reason why we have you up here. Mm -hmm. There's not in five, not only the numbers, why we have a great break. For an institution of the it's a lot easier to engage in this conflict to end them in than he says, you know, you try to get the same back over here. And one of the guys that one of, the, one of the guys that's a member of the third team has, has uh, offered up to, because he's got 40 acres and he's a big gun guy, mm -hmm. so he's offered up to let us do some training out there so we can either train in uniform and full kit. Now remember, when it comes to range, there's a reason why there's level one, everybody has to pass, and level two. Level one, you're going to ace. Literally, I don't know if anybody that can't go out and do this the first time. It's literally for you, a trained recruit, to come into 